So we're uh, we're recording. Are we live? Yeah, we're right. live. We're we're expanding. We're getting another painter, right? We're hiring another painter. We interviewed him, and we're sitting in the interview, and he's like, and so here, backtrack. Some people are making fun of me for the stuff we put on Instagram and Facebook, and just myself personally, but also prime painters. And they're like, why are you on TikTok? People are like, why why are you on this TikTok thing? And I just believe in being everywhere, be seen, and grab as much attention as possible. So we're in this interview, and he's like, yeah, I saw you guys on TikTok. I follow you there now. And so it's like. The person that just adds credibility to us, right? It's a competitive environment. No matter what people say about unemployment, whatever. It's I, we, we can't hire people fast enough right now, and, and uh, quality people fast enough right now. Um, and so, anything that can set you apart from you know the the people that are consuming your products, your customers, clients, um, you know, uh, other vendors and relationships. We have always there's vendor in this morning. Uh, if, uh, if people are doing our. Um, HR stuff and payroll stuff. They're like, man, we love we love the content they're putting out. People are seeing it, right? It it, it allows you to, um, um, it makes you seem more legitimate, and it makes you uh, when whenever you're top of someone's mind just for being out there and doing something, even if some people give you crap for it, like being on TikTok, if it can separate you from someone else, where it can make you be more memorable than someone else if people are always seeing your stuff right how many times can you touch a con a, 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 um, a customer right you want to be able to have those touches how many times can you touch different people and different vendors and just be known in your space and in, the, in your industries is super important and pays huge dev dividends like now but also in the future because it just starts to compound because as you start to build an audience you start to uh, just like when you're investing dollars, that audience will compound. Those dollars compound, that audience will compound, and it becomes more and more, and you have more. Um, we've been able to raise a lot of money through social media for our projects, right? Why? Because I was conti continuously, consistently posting things, uh, what I was doing, the good and bad of real estate investing, right? And I actually got crap for it like five, six years ago because you didn't see a lot of business people posting the way they are now. Now everyone's kind of doing it. A lot of people are doing it a little bit more consistently. Um, but we're trying to even set ourselves further apart than uh, even more than that. And um, now we have a content creator, right? So now you have a lot of business people that are posting maybe one time a day or one time a week. Well, I was doing that five years ago, six years ago when it was kind of frowned upon. Now we're posting like three times a day on Instagram for my personal brand, three times a day for Prime Painters, um, three times a day on TikTok, three times a day for my personal brand, three times a day on TikTok for Prime Painters. We're posting on LinkedIn. We're posting a long-form video on YouTube uh, every day for my personal brand. We're posting on YouTube for Prime Painters. Uh, where else are we posting? YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. So we're just posting multiple times a day now. So once again, we're setting ourselves apart because while everyone else is kind of caught up and now it's less frowned upon, people are posting more often, um, which they're more often is one time a week or one time every other day or whatever. We're doing multiple times a day. But then I'm also getting in there and re replying to comments, right? And like engaging with the audience. And anytime you can do that, you're connecting with people, you're touching, you're reaching out and touching, which just sounds weird, but you're touching, right? Um, other people in your in your stratosphere consistently, like when there's an opportunity, they're gonna think of you, right? So if there's a building that a broker follows me, there's a building and they think it might fit what we do, who are they gonna reach out to? They're gonna reach out to me and that's happened before. We got an investor that, that, that had a cash event and they got $500,000 and they wanna put 250 somewhere right now, next month in December with this deal that we're closing. like. They're going to do it because they've been thinking about me because they've been seeing our stuff that we've been putting out there. So just the long way of saying, like, I don't care really who makes fun of me. And I talked to a, a football team last night, a Division II college football team, and I really made it, uh, really stressed to them, like, who cares what other people think about what you're doing because it's really irrelevant. You have to, you have to set yourself apart. And you have to create noise. Is some of this stuff uncomfortable? Yeah, some of the stuff that I do and that we put out there is uncomfortable. Do I always want to do it? No, there's days riders come in, rider comes in and wants, like, wants to film something. I'm like, dude, I'm so busy. Get out of here. Whatever, I can't right now. But you just have to make yourself do it because grabbing that attention means a world of difference for your business, for your brand, um, and for your future, period.